Warning, the following video is going to f***ing blow your mind. If you like any of it and or enjoy this picture, please hit the like button below. Thank you. Hey guys, what is up? It is Brad Wheel and also known as JimmyJ57, and today is Tanner Tuesdays! The day that T Got Milk gives us some awesome gameplay that I get to commentate to and give you guys some tips on how to play better. So, today we are going to be talking about how to get an 100 plus because Got Milk has got another 100 plus and he actually got multiple during this double XP weekend. He got one normal one, I guess, just like with uh, high kill streaks, swarm dogs, whatever the high ones are in v er, VSAT, I believe. But then he also got 100 plus using only UAV, Hellstorm, and Lightning Strike. That's just like crazy. That means the majority of the kills were actually k by him, not by the score streaks like most people do. So that is actually crazy. That's not the gameplay I have for you guys here today. But that is a super awesome gameplay that I will hopefully have up soon. But we're going to be talking about how you can do better um, or get a easier get a hundred plus so you guys want to get a hundred pluses of course everybody wants to try to get a hundred plus my record is only 96 in one game I've never got a hundred plus yet but there is a couple steps that can get you higher or closer to getting hundred pluses getting higher kill numbers I guess you could say so first thing is you gotta have the right game type so either demolition or headquarters has to be the game type basically to get hundred plus unless you're like a crazy killer because headquarters, if you like are back and forth going at the objective and nobody can cap it, then the games can go on for like 15, 18 minutes. Like they can go on forever. Same with demolition. If you're constantly planting bombs and defusing just back and forth, then um, the games go on just constantly because the timer doesn't go when the bomb timer's going. So the games just constantly go on there. So you gotta almost have the perfect game basically of those two game types. So. Those two game types I recommend playing to get 100 plus. Also, play Ground War, be, like Headquarters and Demolition are for 6v6. But if you're playing Ground War, basically anything but Team Deathmatch and Kill Confirmed will do. And then also, it's good to do it on a small map, like Hijacked or um, I've seen a lot of Meltdown. I guess if you're playing Ground War, it doesn't really matter about the small map. There's still tons of people to kill. But if you're playing 6v6 and you want to get 100 plus, small maps are recommended. Hijack, Nuke Town. Um, what's another small one? I can't think of one. But like just just smaller maps where it's closer quarters and there's closer spawns, so it's faster to kill people. And I'm not going to recommend this just because it is kind of douchey, but to get 100 plus, you basically most of the time have to kill whore. It, it's kind of true. You, you got to spawn trap the enemy to get like 100 plus is real easy, real fast. So Nuketown is probably the best for this because if you're playing Demolition, the spawns can't change. So you basically just sit near uh, the red house there or the blue house whichever are attacking and you just spawn camp the crap out of them so you can basically find a spawn camp on almost almost every map but uh yeah nuketown works the best for this especially playing demolition so that's an easy way to get uh higher kill kill amounts per game and also it depends what score streaks you're using now if you're expecting to go for 100 plus you're obviously expecting to go on long kill streaks so you're going to be wanting to use dog swarm and vsat because it, once you get that vsat it's like an easy couple kills so you get your swarms and dog and the vsat tells you exactly where everyone is so you can sneak up behind them because you know which direction they're facing so you can easily get behind them and shoot them for easy kills and then once you get your swarms and dogs those are like the unstoppable combo they can't be shot down dogs can be killed but like with swarm and dogs up the dogs can cover anyone that's inside and the swarm can cover anyone that's outside they're basically the unstoppable combo they can rack up so many kills depending on what map you're playing such so if you're playing a wide open map like turbine or something oh man those things just destroy and just just to be a better player and go closer to 100 plus just don't rush as much like just try to stay back and just like check your corners and stuff because you don't want your awesome kill streak and chance for 100 plus to end because of one shotgun camper in a corner like it's, it's just no fun so if you are a rusher though the best thing to run is vsat escort drone and dogs or swarm because 
you can just throw that VSAT up and keep rushing on, you know where everyone is, and then you can throw your escort drone up too, that just flies above you, gets a bunch of kills, and then if you throw dogs and swarm, yet again, that is an, another uncontrollable kill streak. So you don't need to control it, and you can continue rushing, getting more kills, while also having that thing up. So those are the best score streaks for getting 100 plus, and just some strategies. I hope you guys like this. Uh, please leave a like below. Congratulating. Uh, got milk on another 100 plus which is super duper awesome and we will hopefully have more for more for you and just remember guys comment below with anything any more tips you guys want us to cover we can do just about anything and also remember to subscribe if you have not already and remember guys have a good day
objective. Throw it smoke! Keep going. 